Brookhaven. Mario Brookhaven. That side, as you can see, I am in Roblox Studio. I hope I don't do something crazy. Brookhaven has been getting a little bit boring recently, and so I think it's time for us to spice it up. Mario style. Now, I did actually steal this idea from this guy, and after watching his video, I really wanted to make my own. First things first, we need to change our sky. Having the correct Mario sky is already gonna transform this map to look a little bit well. Mario like. I think next up we need to replace every single piece of grass in this map with the Mario grass. And this could probably take quite a while. Okay, we have our first problem. Whenever I search for grass in some areas, it just makes a lot of stuff green. And like many of you know, I'm really dumb and I don't know how to fix that. So it's just gonna have to stay green. Okay, I think that is all the grass pretty much covered. Okay, so next up, I've just spawned this in and there's some certain things I want to take away from this. Oh my goodness, they literally have a Pikachu car. So one thing I really like is this tree model. So I'm gonna take a few of these out and start spreading these around the map. Something a little bit like this. And also we're gonna want some around our lake like this. Looking pretty good, guys. And I think we're also gonna want some of these around the town as well. So I'm just gonna find some random places to put these. Oh my goodness. I just realized how big they are. Maybe I'll make them just a little bit smaller. And now I'm gonna start putting them everywhere. Wait, is that a horse? Where did the horse Horse come from? Adopting one baby a kid? What are you doing, Paris? Why would you want a baby a kid when you already have a dog? Oh my gosh, whose world is this? Anyways, we need more trees. So I think it's time we get to work. Okay, and I think that that is enough trees. It's actually starting to look a little bit Mario-like. Okay, the next thing I want is this thing right here. Even though it says Mario Kart, it's still Mario related. And we are literally gonna put us up on this giant sign so that everybody knows this is a Mario land. I mean, if it was Mario land, they would use the roads for driving. So let's make sure the whole world knows. A little something like this. Oh, I think that looks good. Oh my gosh. That is perfect. You know what? I like this so much. I'm actually gonna put one on the other side as well over this way. Okay, now that looks good, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look at this. It's already starting to look a little bit like a Mario land. I think the next thing we're gonna do is start adding some details everywhere. So we're gonna start with these buildings here. In fact, I want to put one of these giant lucky blocks up here just like this. So this could be like the lucky block shop or something. Plus, I think that just looks really good. Something like that. Next up, we need a mushroom and to do the same thing, guys, because this is going to be the mushroom shop just like this. And make sure we can see those beautiful eyes from the street. Otherwise, Nobody's gonna know what this is. Just like that, guys. Oh, I like this already. Next up, I think we need a bomb. Something like this. Then finally, a giant pipe so we can have a giant pipe shop as well. Just like that. And then finally up here, I think we need a giant star. This one says Mario Star Work. I don't know what that means and I'm worried. What if literally you touch it and you start going like... <laughs> Just like that. Oh my gosh, that's probably my favorite bit so far. Now, this is the police station, and the police station is pretty bad. And I have a feeling this would be run by Goombas, especially squishable ones with weird eyebrows. So we're gonna stick one of these on the roof, just like this. And also put a bunch of Goombas inside working at their jobs. A little something like this. And also, I think we need to put a criminal in prison. And everyone knows Wario is like the worst person ever. And so I think he is going to make a perfect criminal. Sorry, Wario, but this is going to be your brand new home. Oh my gosh, you know what? He looks so good in there. And you know, just because he's been so bad at committing crimes, we're gonna put a piece of poop on his bed. Okay, now the Goomba police are taking control of the city. I think it's time for us to go inside of the fire station and get these guys sorted out. And I think the perfect people for this job is the Koopas. That's right, so we're gonna fill this place up with a few Koopas. Okay, and now I've just given them a really cute fire helmet just to make sure they can do the job properly. And now all they need is a fire engine. I don't think there's a Mario one. So we're just gonna have to put in a standard one for now. Just like this. And just so everybody knows the Koopas are in charge of the fire in town. We have to go stick a big shell up there. Just so people know. That's right. As you can see, these guys mean business. Okay, we've done the fire station. I think next is the auto shop. And I think I know the perfect person for this place. That's right, guys. The one and only evil Waluigi. What? I don't know why, but this guy has always creeped me out. 
out. I think it's his weird shoes. Like, how does he wiggle his toes inside of those shoes? And you cannot have an auto shop with Waluigi without adding Waluigi's car. It just doesn't make any sense. And I think if we're gonna make this his auto shop, it's only right we put his head on top, just like we've done for everybody else. A little something like that. Okay, next up is gonna be the graveyard, which has to be run by the Shy Guys. And also some of the Mario ghosts, like Boo. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up like this, and I think that looks really good. Then I wanna add a couple of these Shy Guy, kind of like guards of the cemetery. And guys, also I just added a secret in the grave, so go play the game in the description right now to find out what it is and all the other secrets that I'm gonna put inside of it. For the hospital, I think we should do Mario's Daisy. Or do we do Dr. Mario, guys? Okay, that is not Dr. Mario. That is terrifying. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, I think this is supposed to be Dr. Mario. You know what? He could be our receptionist with no eyes. Okay, we can't use Daisy, so I think we're gonna do Toad instead. Okay, now, guys, the hospital's pretty full of Toads in case you get sick. And, of course, the... No, I'm Mario, and I think we could leave this pretty much like this, which means this half of Brookhaven is kind of done. I think this building normally has a gym inside of it, and everybody knows Donkey Kong is the biggest, most powerful person in Mario, except for Bowser. So it's only fair we turn this into his shrine. So I'm gonna start by putting some classic DK bongos on the roof, just like this, and then I'm gonna add a really weird look. Donkey Kong, I mean, check this guy's face out. He looks like a butt peanut. And then I'm also gonna add this giant thing like this. Yeah, I think that makes a nice detail. A really nice detail. And finally, I need to put Donkey Kong's car just out the side, just so everybody knows this is definitely his place. Okay, next up, we have this shop here. They make food here, so I'm gonna put Yoshi here, just because he has eggs. Really, really big eggs. Oh my gosh, that's a really, really big Yoshi. You know what? I'm gonna keep this and just put it over here so it looks like he's looking at the egg because he's so hungry. And now we got a few Yoshis in the place. It's starting to look quite good. I think now just adding a few more details like an egg roof and also like fire Yoshi and stuff. This place also looks pretty good. I think because this is an airport, the only person who I really know that flies in Mario is Kamek. So it only makes sense to turn this into his place. But it doesn't look like they have any Kamek models. So I think I'm just gonna put a Mario blue shell on top. Guys, this place is starting to look amazing, but it's still Still doesn't look good enough, so we need to have one of the main things, which is Bowser's castle, which can literally just go over here, like this. And now we just need to decorate it with some Bowser stuff. The one thing would be Bowser's airship. The next thing would be a giant Bowser flag. Of course, Bowser's floating car. A giant Bowser head, so everybody is absolutely terrified of this guy. Wait, look, when you move his head, it goes all goofy. <laughs> I think we also need the OG Bowser. I'm gonna make him a little bit fat. And I think we'll put him down here just so nobody can come inside. And I think just like that, Bowser's part is done. Okay, just to make it look a little bit better, I've added some rocky terrain. Otherwise, it was looking quite basic. Anyways, now we have Bowser's side. I think it's time to go and make Peach's side. And just like that, we have the perfect Peach's castle. And then I'm also gonna add a Princess Peach over here so everybody knows it's her castle. Just like this. Oh, wait, I just noticed my sky is gone. What happened to my sky? There we go. Oh my gosh, that made such a difference. Ooh, wait a minute. I actually think I might like this one more. Anyways, we only have two other people left to do. That's Luigi and Mario. So for Luigi, I think we're gonna do the Brookhaven school, but before we do, I needed my Luigi hat. That's right. I actually don't just have Luigi. I have Yoshi. I have Toad. Okay, so for the school, I think we're gonna do Luigi. So we're gonna put a giant cap on top, just like that. And also, I'm just gonna put a Luigi doll here just because I think it's gonna look good. Now I kind of want to mario fight the school. I might put a lot of people inside. So the first thing I want to do is get myself the Mario cap. So I'm gonna go for the wing cap because that's always been my favorite. Then after the wing cap, I want to put the flower thing down. Okay, they don't have that. So I'm gonna put down one of these like parada plots instead. I'll also be scattering these all over the map in just a minute's time. Then I'm also gonna add a bullet bill which as many of you know is a really terrifying looking bullet. Then I'm gonna add a red shell. And I think finally I'm just gonna add a giant Mario Kart because I'm honestly running out of things to add. Okay, now we've got pretty much all of the shops and everything completed. I think it's time to just add a ton of random stuff and this is gonna take me a really long time. So I'm gonna start with my lucky blocks and add like 50 of these. Okay, and guys, finally, after two and a half hours of work, and maybe just a little bit more, Mario Land is completed. That is gonna be it for me today. 
If you want to play this game right now, I'll be inside of that. At least when the video gets uploaded. Um, say hi. And guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.